just watched episode 3 of My Happy Marriage, and I gotta say, it is what I wanted in a shoujo romance anime. It's been a while since I've seen something so good at romance. In this episode, we see Mio and her husband-to-be go on their actual first date, although, you know, it's just a shopping trip, but it's kind of a first date, and uh, I can't not root for them. They are so cute together, and they really, they seem to bring out the better sides of each other. Mio is challenged to be a person, to come out of her shell and exert her will, whereas her husband-to-be is challenged to show his kinder side to him, to the point where Mio is like, where did these rumors come from? How could anyone have assumed otherwise? How could anyone have seen him as other than what he is, this kind, gentle man? And I'm sure there's a lot of good reasons for those rumors. I'm sure he didn't assume Mio was poisoning his food for no reason. Just realized I forgot to put my glasses on, no wonder why everything's so blurry. Something that I really love about this anime is that it doesn't reward Mio for being meek and basically a doormat. Her husband-to-be is reassuring her and basically pushing her outside of her trauma-based comfort zone. He tells her to stop apologizing for no reason because <laughs> it means nothing if all you say is I'm sorry. The meaning to it is lost because it's just what you say to everything. But then he also has the emotional intelligence to help her rather than just put all the work on her to basically unbuild her trauma. He asks Mio what she wants, what she desires, what she wants to buy, and it's clear she doesn't know how to answer and so he decides okay well I'm not going to like push an answer out of you because that seems difficult so we're just gonna go with the flow I'm not going to seemingly punish you for not giving me anything to work with but I'm also going to work towards the goal of you and I being able to spend time together and you enjoying yourself he saw how difficult it was for her to present her will, so he decided, well, I'll just frame it as, we'll just do stuff that I already need to do, and whatever comes up, comes up. And it's definitely a moment that hits home for me, because I'm sure Mio has things that she could, if she thought on it on her own, that things that she wants to buy, but she just didn't have an answer in that moment, because the stress of suddenly like, okay, I need to pick something, someone important to me or who has power over me wants me to tell them one thing that I want and suddenly you've never wanted anything in your entire life. You get that even when you don't have trauma, just suddenly having to pick something that wasn't rehearsed, if it, it's disabling sometimes. They're just so cute together and I can definitely see them continuing to bring out the better sides of each other. I want them to succeed. And I think my favorite part is that he already knows that Mio seemingly doesn't have a supernatural gift, and he's okay with that. He's not throwing her out of his house. He didn't seem to have expectations of her, or if he did, they weren't big enough to override how he feels for her now. I mean, Mio doesn't know that he doesn't know yet, so that's gonna be a stress on her mind, but we as the audience know that it will be okay. That's not an issue for them. What will be an issue, though, is the family that her dad was supposed to give Mio to. Man, this guy was so desperate to get rid of his daughter that he just accepted a random marriage proposal, and he did it on the assumption that the guy would hate his daughter so much that he just tossed her into the street and so the family she was supposed to end up with would be able to just pick her up like trash? Man, the more I find out about her dad and his intentions for her, the more I hate him. And the more I have to wonder, where does this vitriol come from? Would he have done the same to Kaya if she didn't have the supernatural gift? I would assume so, but... I don't know. What is it about Mio that makes him hate her so? I am concerned what that other family will do since Mio has not been tossed out and doesn't seem like she's going to be tossed out anytime soon. 
They're surely being built up to get in the way eventually. I just worry how drastic that's going to be. Things have been going so well, surely something's going to go wrong soon. But I'm very excited to keep watching. This is the romance anime that I've been missing for a long time, and I can't wait to see what happens. Thank you very much for listening, and until next time.